Last week, I made a video in Forza Horizon 5 where I jumped in and drove some of the rarest cars in FH5, like the Sierra 700R, the OP 4GT, and the Oreo Pagani Zonda. After I made that video, though, it got me thinking, what are the rarest cars in the world that also happen to be in FH5? Well, I did a bunch of research, and the answers surprised me. And that is what I'm going to talk about in today's video. However, this video took a whole bunch of research, and I had to search up all of these cars, and it took ages. And I can pretty much guarantee you, I missed one or two of the rarest cars. So if you know any real-world cars that are super rare that also happen to be in Forza Horizon 5, let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll try to do like a pinned comment with cars that I missed because I'm, I'm sure there's a couple. Double, however, though, I did try to follow some rules for this list because I felt it wasn't really fair to include proper race cars on it. For example, cars like the Auto Union Type D, the Mercedes W154, and the Ferrari 512S, they only made four Auto Union Type Ds, but it didn't really feel fair to include it on this list since it's a proper race car and not really a road car. There are still some race cars on this list though, but they're more like customer race cars. You'll see what I mean. Let's jump into the rarest cars in the world that are in FH5. And let's start it up with something that I think a lot of us think is super rare, but in reality, compared to some of the other cars on this list, isn't rare at all. The Ferrari F40, an absolutely legendary car of its time and still today is fetching all sorts of ridiculous price tags. Ferrari actually made 1,300 Ferrari F40s and I don't know if it's just me, but I've always thought they were a lot more rare than that. And for our next car, we're gonna jump into something a lot more rare. We're gonna remove that one, only 300. Jaguar SV Project 8s were ever made. In the late 2010s, Jag took the Jag XE and basically took all of the luxury out of it, gave it a big old engine, a big rear wing, and a big old roll cage. And they only ever made 300 of these things, and that is number 22 on this list. Spot 21 goes to the cover car of Forza Horizon 5, the AMG Project 1, or the AMG 1. A super rare and super expensive, essentially, race car for the road. The AMG Project 1, only 275 of them were ever made, or I think they're actually still being made. They're gonna make 270. In all honesty, there's actually a lot of cars that have only ever had, like, 100 to, like, 1,000 units ever made, so I've had to kind of shrink my list down a little bit to make some cuts and actually make this video, you know, not, not two hours long. So we're going to cut things down a lot to only 125 ever made. The top speed king of Horizon, the Koenigsegg Jesko. I think Koenigsegg is just wrapping up production of the Koenigsegg Jesko right now, or they maybe finished it like late last year. I'm not sure, but there are not a lot of Koenigsegg Jeskos around. Only 125. At spot 19 on this list is a car that I actually expected to be a little bit higher up on this list. The Gordon Murray T50. Gordon Murray's the designer who designed things like the McLaren F1 back in the day. Gordon Murray started up his own company and he created the Gordon Murray T50. It's a small little company based out of the UK and they're actually gonna be making a hundred of these things. Still though, the Gordon Murray T50 is fairly commonplace to what's coming up next. This is the Jaguar D-Type at spot 18 on the list Jag actually planned to originally build a hundred of these things, but during the production, they only ever made 75 of them. At spot 17 on this list is a fan favorite, the PLP 50. Now, when I say the PLP 50, I mean the original PLP 50. Nowadays, there's all sorts of like fakes and copies around. The original run of the PLP 50 was way back in the 19, I think it was 50s and 60s, only 50 of them were made, and as it turns out today, less than 30 of them still exist. If you want to actually buy one of the original ones today, they cost over 100 grand, maybe even 200 grand nowadays. It's insane, and a super, super rare car for a real one. I know we've only made it to spot 16 on my list, and I'm already about to break the rules. Remember when I said there were no race cars on this list? Well, I'm about to go and list a lot of race cars. However, if you are a billionaire, you could have actually bought one of these. For example, the Aston Martin AMR Pro, the Lamborghini SCV12, the Ferrari FXXK Evo, the Bugatti Divo, 
and the Lamborghini Diablo GTR. All of these cars only had 40 of them made each. They are super, super rare. Take the Lamborghini SC V12, for example. Yes, it is a proper race car, but if you have enough money and if you're a good enough Lamborghini customer, they would have invited you to buy one of these things and race it around any racetrack you want in the world in a Lamborghini racing series, basically for billionaires. It's, it's super cool, and I'm kind of happy these cars exist, honestly. And you know what? Since we're on the topic of proper race cars, let's move it on to the next one at number 15, the world's second most expensive car, the Ferrari 250 GTO. The Ferrari 250 GTO was a famous race car back in the day, but a lot of those race cars were either owned by like customer racing teams or were later sold off to regular people. For example, there's a famous story about Nick Mason, who's the drummer for Pink Floyd. He bought a Ferrari 250 GTO back in the day for 35,000 pounds. As it turns out, that was one of the best investments you could humanly make because that same car today is worth probably 30, 40, 50 million bucks or so because only 36 of them were ever made. The Ferrari 250 GTO is one of the most expensive cars in the world. It's one of the most exclusive cars in the world, but it isn't one of the rarest, at least not compared to some of the other stuff on this list. For example, at spot 14, did you know Pagani only made 30 Pagani Hawaira Rs and 30 Pagani Hawaira BC? Again, kind of race cars, kind of not. If you have enough money, you could have bought one. At spot 13 on the list is an absolute classic. The Mercedes AMG... I, I, I Actually, I don't think it was AMG back in the day. The Mercedes CLK GTR. Now, yes, the CLK GTR is a proper race car, but the reason it's included on this list is because 28 of them were made to fulfill homologation rules for the racing series that it was partaking in back in the day. Mercedes had to make 28 of them and sell them to the general public, and that's exactly what they did with these. 28 CLK GTR. At number 12, we've got a car that's actually still being made today. Actually, I I don't actually know how many they've made so far, but Hennessy only plans to make 24 Hennessy Venom F5. The Hennessy Venom F5 might be the fastest car in the world at some point if it ever ends up coming out properly. At spot number 11 is where we start to get into the properly rare stuff though like this, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Only 20 of these things were made for the entire world. Again, it's a race car, but it's like a customer race car that people could go and purchase. The Sesto Elemento Forza Edition in FH5 is actually one, if not the fastest X-Class car in the game. It's an absolute little monster, and it's also one of the rarest cars in the world. Now we can jump into the top 10, though, and this is where we start to get some seriously rare cars. For example, a car that you may have just played with last week, the McLaren Sabre at spot number 10. If you watched my video that I made last week about the McLaren Sabre, I actually went back and forth between saying 15 and 16 were made. As it turns out, 16 of them were made, but 15 of them were sold to customers and the other remaining one was apparently given or sold to somebody special at McLaren. I don't actually know who that person is, but that's the rumor, 16 were made, 15 to customers. And to just make it even more rare, since it's a US only car, you won't really find one of these things driving around the streets of Knightsbridge. There's actually quite a few car companies out there who decided to only make 15 of their specific version of cars. Two of those are the Pagani Zonda R, the proper race car that was also sold to billionaires, and the Zenvo TRSR. T T S R. TR. The Zonda R is a proper dedicated race car. It's famously one of the loudest race cars in the world with its massive V12 engine and basically no exhaust system. And the Zenvo TSRS is also super famous for having that super cool rear wing. Only 15 of those things were ever made. At spot number eight, we have one of my personal favorites, the Maserati MC12 Corsa car. Maserati only made 13 of these things. Again, similarly to a lot of the other cars I mentioned, they're a proper race car. But at the end of the day, I guess clients could actually go and buy them or like client teams could go and buy them. And 
I think now the majority of these things are just sitting in museums and maybe go out like once a year for a track day or something. They're insane cars. I love at spot number seven we've got the rarest ferrari on this list i know a lot of people might think oh the ferrari 250 gto is the rarest ferrari it's like the most expensive car in the world wrong because ferrari also made this the ferrari j50 ferrari only made 10 of these things and they were only for japan it's even hard to find videos of the ferrari j50 in real life one of the only videos is the Ferrari J50s kind of doing like a track day in Japan. Anyways, I think since the Ferrari J50s actually went on sale, like back in the day, a couple of them have ended up leaving Japan. I think one of them went to like Singapore. I think one might be in the Middle East and so on, but don't quote me on that. We've got a couple cars at the number six spot. Only seven of these things were made. The Koenigsegg one-to-one, the Rimac Concept 2, and the Lotus Elise GT1. Now we can jump into the top five though, and this is where we start to get some inconsistencies, I guess, between what some car manufacturers say and what's actually out there. Because again, spot number five goes to two different cars, the Shelby Daytona Coupe and the Jaguar CX-75. Both of them have only ever had six of them made. However, that depends entirely on who you ask. Because if you actually ask Jag how many Jag CX-75s they made, Jag will tell you they made seven of them. However, Jag also did a famous promotional shoot to feature these cars. And in the famous shoot, uh, th there were only six of them. So uh, no one actually knows what happened to that last seventh one, if it even exists. At spot number four is a car company that you might have forgot about. Ital Design. Ital Design is actually on this list White. This is actually their most common car, the Ital Design Zero Uno. They made five of these things. As the story goes, a lot of engineers from Ferrari ended up leaving Ferrari and ended up going to create their own company called Ital Design. And this is the car they came up with. It's a super cool car. And I absolutely love this thing. Unfortunately, though, there's only five of them. Now we can jump into the top three, though. And this is where we start to get some mind-blowingly rare cars. Because I, I, I'm going to call this number three, but it's really tied for number two. The McLaren F1. Now, I know what you're saying. Nick, the McLaren F1 isn't all that rare. They made over 100 of them. Yes. But did you know some of those 100 are actually used for different things? They made 100 McLaren F1s, but they made 64 road versions. They made five LM versions, and they only made two McLaren F1 GT. It still blows my mind that back in the day, McLaren actually used these McLarens. I don't know if it's just me, but when I think of the McLaren F1, I think of a car that should be like locked away in a museum and like never driven. Probably the wrong way of thinking about it, but that's just what I think. It still blows my mind to today that McLaren actually built a hundred of these things and use them to do proper racing with. Like, they, they they raced at Le Mans, and that's just... It's crazy. Technically, the second rarest car. Tied with number two on the list. This is the Mercedes 300 SLR Jullenhout Coupe. Only two of these things were ever made, but technically, only one of them has ever been up for sale. One of these cars was actually given to the designer of the car, Rudolf Jullenhout. He was like a big person at Mercedes and Daimler back in the day. That, I believe, is the same car that Mercedes has had in their museum for years and years. Mercedes maintains that car. And the second one was previously just sold back in 2022 to a private collector who apparently is still unnamed for the price of $142 million making it the world's most expensive car. And now we get to the number one spot, cars that are a one of one. Now, before I get into this, I just need to reiterate again, I didn't want to include race cars or drift cars or things like that because it just doesn't feel fair. It doesn't really feel fair to mention something like a Hoonicorn, for example, or like a DeBerdy car or like a Formula Drift car, because yes, those are all unique one of one cars, but they're kind of like modified versions of cars that are already out there. The cars that I'm going to mention, you'll see are a little bit different than that. There are a couple at number one, one of one. Let me just read off my list here and tell you a little bit about them. The Jag XJ13 is probably one of the most deserving at the top of this list, considering it's kind of like the 
most real car. You'll see what I mean. The Porsche Mission R was also a one of one. That was essentially a race car that Porsche built back in the day to kind of promote everything that they were doing with the electric Titans. The AMG Hammer Wagon was a commission that a good customer of AMG basically asked them to make. And they said, yes will do it and it's a one of one the lamborghini aventador j and the sc20 are both kind of like special one-off supercars with the roof cut off and no windscreen they're a bit weird the Italian design da vinci concept car is just that it's a concept car Italian design only ever made one of them they actually had plans to put them into production but from what i've been able to find they they never did and this car kind of just doesn't exist. And then there are also a couple of Hot Wheels cars. The 2Jet Z, the Nash Metropolitan. These are all real cars that were later then turned into Hot Wheels cars, uh, but they are essentially one of one cars. And all of those cars would have been the true one of one cars in the game. Because did you know there is actually one car is in the game but doesn't actually exist. And it's this thing. This is the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker Baja edition. The Hot Wheels Bone Shaker does actually exist in real life, but the Hot Wheels Baja Bone Shaker does not. The way the developers built the Baja Bone Shaker in FH5 is they essentially scanned the Bone Shaker that exists in real life, and then they worked with the team over at Hot Wheels to give it like this lift kit, some fancy bodywork, these big chunky off-road tires, and that's why I guess technically it's a zero out of one. So there you go. I probably missed some things on this list. Let me know if I did. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.